Hello everyone, welcome and our topic for today is leads to list custom integration. In this lesson, we will show you how to add opt-in forms to your leads to list application. The good thing about the leads to list software is that it is very useful. Not only you can have it to work with your favorite autoresponder, but you can also add opt-in form in it. So let me show you how. So make sure you are currently logged in to your leads to list application. As you can see, we are now on our dashboard. Now on this page, just go to the left hand portion of the screen and click on autoresponder. Now from autoresponders page, go to the upper portion of the screen and click on form code. Okay, this is where you need to put in your opt-in form codes. You can acquire that by simply going to the website um, where you have saved or where you are using your opt-in forms. So, you can uh, just, uh, let's go ahead and try to create a form here. Now, to get this, you need to go to the platform where you have your opt-in form like what we are going to do now and then here look for the opt-in form same thing when you are using a different uh, platform for your opt-in forms just go to that website and look for your opt-in forms so here we see that we have one opt-in form that's currently running just click on that one and it will also allow you to edit the form now after checking everything just click on next okay so here is where we can get the code that we need for our leads to list application so this is the code that we are looking for all you have to do is to copy this and then go back to your leads to list application and then paste it right here after that click on parse Okay, so you can see on the right-hand portion, there's an additional form. This is for the label for this particular form. So, um, normally, this is the field that your users need to fill out when they subscribe to your um, email list. So, all you have to do is to click on the drop-down arrow. Basically, what we need is the name and email address. But here you can also um, add another label or, or edit a label. Just uh, click on custom fields. Now after that, just click on submit. As you can see, there's a notification saying that we have successfully saved our opt-in form to our leads to list. Now to check that, let's go back to our autoresponders page. And then scroll down. As you can see, this is actually the one that we have created. It will show custom integration. Okay, so for that, let's go to the campaign segment if you want to use this form. So all you have to do is to go back to the left-hand portion and then click on campaign. Then here you can, let's say you would like to edit an existing campaign and you would rather want to use um, the custom integration that we have created for um, leads to list you can do that by simply choosing the campaign that you want to edit so let's say I want to edit this um, one all you have to do is to go to the right hand portion of the screen and click on edit now here you can simply edit you can change any information that you want for this campaign now um, to select a list or autoresponder just click on it and uh, choose custom integration since that uh, this is what uh, where the form is under so custom integration after that one we need to select list and then since this is the one that we have previously created, just click on it. Okay, so after checking everything, just click on Update Campaign. 
Now to check, just scroll down and check. Okay, as you can see, this is the one we have edited and it has test for leads to list um, for custom integration already there. So this particular campaign uses the form that we have created. So that's how you add your um, or custom integrate your leads to list to work um, using opt-in form from different platforms.